All right. Hey, how are you people? This is Jeff Yeldon, your teen life coach. I just got an inquiry. Somebody, uh, school that I just recently spoke at, <laughs> I'll give a shout out, Palisades High School in Kittnersville, Pennsylvania. How are you? Good. Well, a teacher asked if I can do a video on nutrition, so I want to keep this simple. I know that I'm going to get beat up by so many people because if you look out there on YouTube, there's so many people in the fitness industry and nutrition and weightlifting that probably know a lot more than I do. But um, I think I've got some knowledge in the area, and I just want to speak to the, the general teenage population about nutrition or more so to the athletes and um, maybe some weightlifters and some fitness competitors out there, but more so probably the athletes and the general teenager. I think it's a rule of thumb, and, and you know what? Just because I'm speaking about it doesn't mean I'm perfect. My body fat percentage is way over 10%. Because uh, I do a lot of traveling. When I travel, I'm not working out. When I travel, it's just real hard to have that discipline to eat well. So my focus on traveling is to do what I got to do and get the job done. When I'm back home here in Cape Cod, I hit the gym every morning and I'm perfect with my eating. So there's a rule of thumb that I, I kind of want to explain or express to you about eating. And I think it's very simple. You need to burn more calories than you're taking in. That's the bottom line. That's where you're going to lose weight. You got to think about 3,500 calories is one pound. And if your body is burning more than 3,500 calories, you're going to lose some weight. If your body is not burning 3,500 calories and you're taking it in, you're probably going to gain some weight. So the first thing I think is really important within 45 minutes of waking up you want to do a healthy breakfast. And for most people, I think it could be a bowl of cereal. Um, it could be a bagel, although I'm not sure that's really a healthy choice. What I usually do is do two eggs and maybe three egg whites and one piece of dry wheat toast. Here's simply why. The egg has a lot of protein. The yolk is where all the calories are from, but I like the yolk. So I dip the yolk with my dry wheat toast, and I think it tastes pretty good. So for lifting, when I get up there in the morning, I like to have enough carbs to get me through the workout. So let's keep it simple. If I put butter on the bread, I'm ruining the nutrition. I'm ruining the, the, the protein and the carbs, and I'm just I'm adding stuff I don't need to add that's going to hurt my heart. So I want to keep it clean. You got to look at your body as if it's like a car engine. It's that simple. You want to feed the engine. You want to put fuel in the engine, just like your body. You want to eat to live, not live to eat. So I'll in the morning do maybe two full eggs and three egg whites, one piece of dry wheat toast. Or if I'm in a rush, I'll just take a protein shake, whip it up. I'm getting a lot of protein. I'm getting up to the gym. I'll get my workout in right after the workout. I want to hit some more protein. And then another thing for weightlifters and athletes, yo, man, check this out. Real simple, and you can prepare six meals in 20 minutes. You want to do brown rice. You want to do black beans. You want to do ground chicken, ground turkey, or ground meat. And you want to throw some veggies, some broccoli in there or something. That'll make you like six different meals. You can put in Tupperware, take it when you're cooling. You throw some salsa in there. Or uh, here's a special tip. You can throw some cottage cheese in there. That's some good stuff. So rule of thumb here is... I usually like to think that I want like 40% protein, I want about 25% carbs, and then I want to do the rest with um, fats, veggies, and fruit. I'm not a big fruit person, I'm not a big veggie person, but I throw the veggies in, my brown rice with my uh, grounded chicken, grounded turkey, whatever, and the black beans. So for the general student, I'm thinking about nutrition, there's a couple things I think are really important. Number one, get off the soda. I don't care if it's diet soda. I don't care. I don't care what it is. Get off the soda. Get off the orange juice. Get off the cranberry juice. All this sugar plays games with you. So you want to uh, stick to water, like water. But Jeff, I don't like water. I know you don't like water, but get used to liking water. Water is one of the best things that you can drink because it's going to clean out your system. It's going to get all the toxins flushed out. And water also helps with weight loss. Another thing, 
Young ladies, you need to be on vitamins. Young men, you need to be on vitamins too. You also should be eating at least four meals a day, preferably five or six. Every two and a half hours, you should be taking in some calories to keep the metabolism jacked up and really kicking in high gear so that you're going to lose some weight. Um, for some of the other people, I'm thinking, I, I love what people say, well, I'm not fat, I'm big bone. No, you're not. Dinosaurs are big bone. You're fat. I'm big. I got some weight that I have to lose. It comes down to discipline. You got to look at it like I said earlier. Feed the body. Don't look at the body to feed to get full. So, you know, you want energy. And some people get that tired 2 o'clock feeling. And one of the reasons why that comes is you have too much sugar in your system and or you're not eating enough up until that point. So if you let the body get really hungry and you're starving, you're going to go gorge whatever's there and you don't care if it's healthy or not. Proper preparation is going to help you plan for uh, meals throughout the day where you're not going to get hungry and start grabbing everything. So be prepared at all times. Another tip for my young people Avoid everything that's white. Stay away from the bread. Stay away from flour. Stay away from cake. Stay away from cookies. Get rid of the soda. I don't care if it's diet soda. Diet sodas, you know, some people need a diet soda every day. You know, fine. Okay, I'm not going to fight you on it. But the bottom line is you want a gram of protein for every pound you are if you're bulking up and you're lifting and you're an athlete. I'm 320 pounds. I'm trying to get down about 260, 280. So I'm lowering my protein to about 280 grams a day, but I'm trying to cut out the carbs. Another thing is you cut out the carbs after about 12 noon and then just go to protein. At about 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, hit a protein shake because when your body is resting, it's still burning and your muscles are growing. So at about that time, you want to make sure you have something in your system so through the night, your body is still burning some fat. That's about it on nutrition. I like to try and keep it simple. If you want to follow some great people, um, Mark Featherstone, you can follow him on YouTube called The Beast, Mark Featherstone. Also, a good friend of mine is Sharon Petrolito, Miss Fitness Universe. You can follow her on YouTube. You can Google her name. Um, there's, some, there's some great people. But I'll tell you what, if you're interested in learning more about nutrition and weightlifting and athletes, you have everything at your fingertips by Googling it or YouTubing it. And there's some great people out there that know what they're talking about. There's also a lot of people out there that don't know what they're talking about. So... I think uh, you have two ears and one mouth. You listen more than you talk, and you seek more information. And the more information you gain, you're going to be able to decipher the good from the bad, and you're going to be well on your way. But um, I guess I just want to leave you with this. Good nutrition is very important. It helps with your school. It helps with your sleep. It helps with thinking. It helps with uh, your athletics. Got to keep the body. Uh, you got to keep the body fueled up so that you can go and. Being your best game. I appreciate you listening, man. Take care.